Hi everybody, it's me Tess, and as you can all see, I'm back in my craft room today, and that's because Superman is asleep, and you all know my yarn nook is in the master bedroom that um, Superman let me take over the little um, sitting area that's attached to the bedroom, and that's where I have most of my yarn. <laughs> Most of it. We all have those secret stashes. You didn't hear me say that. Mm -mm. Okay. Today, I'm going to show you all my knit crate. Um, now, I did already open it, and you'll see why. Um, yeah. Another issue. Mm. I'm also going to show you something that I'm working on. Let me show you this right now. So, do 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 do. Okay, here we go. Do do do. Okay. Oh. And everybody, what this is, this is going to be um, a uh, coat for my. Um, second mom. Uh, I'm making this for her. It's going to be almost like a poncho. Poncho? Poncho. <clears throat> Can you tell it's early here? Because it is. It's early here. And everybody in the house is asleep. I'm the only one awake. The dogs aren't even awake yet. Yeah. But you know what? I kind of enjoy these quiet moments because we don't get a lot of them in this house. Not with five people. <laughs> but yeah, I'm making this. It's sort of like a poncho. <laughs> it's going to come around almost like a poncho. And it'll be open in the front. And it'll have one big button right here. And uh, I'm making it out of loops and thread. And it's called Cozy Wool. And it is wool. It's, how much wool's in here? I think it's half and half. Yeah, 50% wool and 50% acrylic. So, nice and soft, too. I was surprised. Yeah. So, anyway, loops and thread. And, uh, you guys, it's a bulky five. And there is 90 yards in one skein. So... Mm, that can get expensive making a bigger project, but I have a little secret. I got them on clearance for $3. $3. Yeah, I like that. Happy face. $3. Okay, now let me show you how my knit crate came, everybody. And all I did was carefully open it up and then just resealed it with the same tape. And I opened it because I was afraid something would be missing. Because I'll show you why. This is how my knit crate arrived. Now everybody... What is up with that? Now, y'all know my ongoing saga with the postman. Now, I have to say he's a very, very nice man. Now, yesterday, um, a gift came that I ordered for a friend of mine who's having a baby. And um, actually, I bought her a diaper genie. And that's a big box. And my postman very nicely carried it all the way up to my front door and set it down by the front door. So he is a very nice man, but I think he likes my yarn. Maybe he, maybe he knits or crochets. I don't know. Mm. Mountain Dew. Nectar of the Gods. Mm. 
good stuff. Ah. Peppermint coffee. Also nectar of the gods. Mmm. <laughs> good stuff. But, um, yeah, so I mean, the postman is a super nice man. But I'm telling you, I cannot believe every time yarn comes, like one of my monthly subscriptions, it appears to be opened. Now, maybe my postman is a secret yarning person. I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm going to have a little chat with him and just let him know if he wants to see my yarn, he could watch my YouTube videos and I'll give a tour of my yarn nook. Yeah, I'll do that. But anyway, that's how it came, everybody. So, I'm going to now just open it back up. Just like that. And see, that's it. It all came open. So bizarre. It's definitely a mystery. Mm. But the yarn that I got is this. And you guys, I'm so surprised because in Knit Crate, you can choose your colors that you want. And my color palette, I think, is called the Chill Out color palette. And it's greens and blues. But this is what I got. And I've been getting more, like, neutral colors. So I don't know what's going on. Hmm. I, yeah, I don't know. But the happy thing is, I kind of like it. Because it matches my hair. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that's a darn good match, I think. But anyway, let me tell you about the yarn. It's called Vitalana? Vitalana? Hmm. Your guess is as good as mine on that one. Yeah. But this yarn... The colorway is Sahara, and it's 50% alpaca, 25% Peruvian Highland Merino Wool Blend, and 25% Surrey Alpaca. Hmm. So this is alpaca yarn. It's just a blend of, like, different kinds of alpacas. So, this is a DK weight, and it's 252 yards. It's hand-washed gently and lie flat to dry, and it was made in Peru. Hmm, now that's nice. And for a needle size, they suggest a 4 millimeter needle, and for a hook, they suggest a 4.5 to a 5.5 millimeter hook. So if I was going to crochet this, I would go down to the smaller hook, 4.5, because it's only a DK weight. And, and that really is a DK weight. And I'm going to show you that. Let me separate those strands. There we go. So that truly is a DK weight. But so overall, love the yarn. I mean, it's super soft. Look at that. Ooh, that would make a nice cow. I could wear this on my bare skin with no problem. That's how soft this is. And usually something that has a lot, like 100% animal fiber, is like a little bit scratchier. But, you know, there are times when you just get that perfect yarn that is 100% animal fiber. And it's just as soft as soft can be. And this is one of those times. This is a very, very soft yarn. And it's definitely scarfable. As Crystal at Bag o Day would say, scarfable. Yeah. And you guys, what do you think? Do you think this would look good as a cowl? Hmm. I don't know. But that's what I think 
I'll probably make. But let's see what the little booklet has. Let me see. Oh, look at this. We get one of those things that it goes around like your, um, your can of soda, your soda pop. You just like stick it in there. Keeps it cool. Or if y'all enjoy a beer or wine cooler, I'm sure that would fit in there too. Yeah. Okay. Knit Crate Inspirations. Let's see. What are the colorways? Aha. That's the colorways. Right here. And I got this one. Sahara. Which is surprising since I'm in this kind of colorway group. Hmm. But you know what? I still love the yarn. I still love it. So, um, it's okay, Nick Crate. It's okay I didn't get one of these. I'm still loving this yarn. And I mean, gosh darn it, does that match my hair. <laughs> you guys, I can't get over how well this matches my hair. That is crazy, isn't it? That is cray cray. <laughs> but oh my goodness, yes. Alrighty. Now this is the Sock Club. And I'm not a member of the Sock Club. Although, you guys, I'm going to make some socks. And I'm going to be using this yarn bee. And I'm going to make um, a pair of socks for me and my daughter. Because actually I've got two of them. And I got these on sale at Hobby Lobby for $2.25. And they're normally $9. And that's because there's a lot in here. It's 415 yards. Plus, it's merino wool. Let's see. I think it is uh, a blend, though. Let me see. Yes, it's 50% merino wool, 30% nylon, and 20% acrylic. And these make beautiful, comfortable socks. So I'll be knitting these. And instead of using DPNs, I am going to try the um, Magic Loop method, which I have never tried before. And I know that Ross at Smells Like Yarn, he does not like Magic Loop. <laughs> and he uses his DPNs, which is what I would use, my DPNs. But... I've been watching a few videos on Magic Loop, and I'm going to give it a go. And I'll let y'all know how it turns out. But yeah, socks for me and my daughter. Yay! Okay, put that down. And uh, let's go back to Knit Crate real quick. Sorry about that. You know, I see something, and I'm like, whoo, off on a different subject. Like a little squirrel. Whoo, shiny, right? <laughs> You guys know what I mean. Okay, so here's the patterns. Right there. You get this. This is knitted, and this is crocheted. So I really want a cowl out of this, just because I think it would look so cool. And I mean, how funny that it matches my hair. I keep saying that because I'm just in awe. But yeah, I have um, I have some cow patterns, and then I also make up my own patterns. So um, I might just do one of my own patterns for that. I don't know yet, but I'll let y'all know when I decide, okay? And let me see. I'm going to show you this close up. That's that knitted pattern. And then look, here's the crochet pattern. You guys, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. You know what? I'm changing my mind. I'm going to make this. Look at that. Look at that. And I can always wrap it around my neck because look how long that is. That is amazing. So yeah, I'm actually going to crochet this and I'm going to make this scarf right here. So yeah, when I get it done, I'll let you all see it. Okay, and that's called the Jackson blah, 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 Jackson Shawl, and it's by Laura 
Algara. Algara. Laura Algara. I think that's how you say it. Mm, yeah, I think so. And then here's just the socks again. That's Happy Little Tree socks. And then there's a crocheted version. That one was knitted. And the crocheted one is right here. Yeah. And that's called Sidelined. And that one is by Ron Strong. Ron Strong. What a strong name. I'm so bad. Oh, that was bad. Forget it. Forget it. It's early. That's my excuse. And I'm still drinking my coffee and my Mountain Dew. Okay, everybody. That's going to be it for today. Short and sweet, I hope. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for coming and visiting me. And I really appreciate that you take the time to sit down and spend um, a little bit of your time with me. Because you could be doing other things. But I'm happy you're here. Mwah. So thank you for that. And until next time, be kind and be safe out there in the world, no matter where you are. Okay, everybody. Bye.